Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. It's Diane Hall, author, medium channel, angel intuitive, singer-songwriter, and this is the message for the week of May the 30th, 2016. And um, I've got a really exciting message. And the reason this is another exciting message is because um, we've received this message quite a lot um, through my uh, you know, newsletter, people who have signed up. Um, I send one of these messages out every now and again. And um, it's usually about two or three days a week, sometimes more often than that. You actually get one of these in written form um, into your inbox. And um, this one we've had quite often, but it's really nice to be able to actually read it out loud and to talk through it as well and I'm finding that with a lot of these and that's one of the reasons I really wanted to do, to do these videos because there are times when I just feel as if you know you can sit and you can read a message and yet on a different day it can mean a completely different thing in, in each different context and also there are nuances there that, that just need to be brought out a little bit more sometimes. So I'm really excited that this is the one that's come up. So for the week of the 30th of May 2016 the message is number 22, reinvent time. And it says time is not real. Are you still placing obstacles and limitations in the way of your wishes, hopes and dreams? Are you investing in the illusion of age and telling yourself it can't be done, it's too late? Or do you simply feel there just isn't enough time in the day for everything you wish to accomplish? Wow, another reason that this is really important right now is because things are accelerating so much. And even as I'm speaking, I'm feeling as if I need to calm down because I'm picking up on that because that's what we're speaking about and what I really want to do is to get across that vibration of slow down, reinvent time in terms of your perception. So in other words, don't panic. Things are accelerating. They're going to continue to accelerate. And I know we probably say this every year. You know, I remember New Year's Day as if it was yesterday. But it really is, you know, it's incredible that we're now at the end of May. And um, I just really want to bring to everyone's awareness that things are changing, things are accelerating, but that does not mean we're running out of time. Not by any means, because everything is changing, everything is shifting. Our perception of, of ageing, of possibility, of time management, everything is changing, everything is shifting. We are shifting so that time means, as well as meaning a lot less, it means more to us. In other words, we realise more and more that it's an illusion, but because of that, we are much more able to place ourselves firmly in the now because it's accelerating so much. And because we feel it running away, we are much more focused on the things that really bring us pleasure and that really feel right in terms of what we need to be doing with our time and what we came here to do. Just be aware of turning that into a panic thing and, and you know, trust that there's enough time for everything, that your life has been divinely designed. It's beautiful, it's a perfect tapestry, it's a perfect instrument of divine expression and you will do everything you came here to do and you will complete everything in just the perfect time, in divine timing. So, and the illusion of age and ageing, you know, we have reinvented that paradigm dramatically in the last 50 years or so. Just look back, look at, you know, what people are expecting now of, you know, their middle and later years compared to what they were expecting 50 or 100 years ago. It's quite incredible. So give yourself time. Trust and believe that whatever it is that you came here to do, you can still do it. I'm not saying get complacent, I'm just saying trust that you are still valuable and that you still have that mission and that purpose regardless of where you put yourself chronologically in terms of your life experience. Your life experience is a richness, it's a beauty, it's a joy, it's what makes you this incredible wonderful creative vision, uh, being with vision and wisdom as well. And now you're at the prime time to actually enjoy expressing all that you've learned, all that you've been in this lifetime, as well as all the creati creativity that it brings. 
because this is such a rare and unusual time. We're talking about ascension of your being, of your cells, of your cellular possibility, of your life experience, and yes, of your concept of time. Okay, so, so great to be able to just say that. So, there is enough time for everything. Today, remember to trust the natural cycles of your destiny. So this is for the week. They are daily guidance messages, but just translate it. This week, remember to trust the natural cycles of your destiny and the rhythms they create. Value time, but don't fear it. And ultimately, value your health, well-being and peace of mind much more. In other words, don't get stressed out about it. It's fine. It's okay to rest when you need to. It's okay, there's still time to meditate and connect and, and, and align. And when we do take time to med meditate and get aligned, we can create even more of an illusion of time expanding because we can slow time down and we can enjoy the space that there is. And when we, when we connect with the divine, we become much more effective creators and that allows us to use our time more efficiently. And so it appears that we have more time. So, thank you, Spirit, for that lovely message. Where are we going? Right, we're going to the Angels and Gods deck. And what I'm going to ask is, what do we need to fill that time with? What is the most important thing this week to... Some of you will be just feeling comforted by that message of time. So I'm being told that some people have been panicking or they've been seeing themselves in a particular way, like it's too late, I've left it too long now, you know, um, my time is gone. It's not true. You need to let go of those ideas because Creator needs you to be effective now. All right, so, and I just needed to finish that message off because that was um, really, really important for some people out there. Okay, so... What do we need to add to our time for enrichment purposes to make us more effective creators with time and the universe at our disposal? Goddess of knowledge. Start to apply what you already know. Trust your intuition. So, in other words, what I'm feeling about this is start to apply what you already know. Take the wisdom that you've learned and apply it. Use it. Consolidate. It's not about going and starting other things. If you're thinking of starting something completely new at this particular juncture with these particular energies, that may not be the thing to do right now. You need to consolidate what you already know and allow that to calm you down. You know, when you start thinking, oh, there are 101 new things that I need to do. There are 101 different paths I could pursue. This year we've spent a lot of time getting very clear and focused about what we need to do. So utilise what you already have, consolidate what you've learned and channel that into the time and the way that you use time this week and you'll feel a lot calmer. It's all there, you're a container for everything. The answers are already there in your sphere of experience, in your unconscious, in your awareness. You've got all the pieces there laid out in front of you on the table. You're just moving them around now. You don't need to go out into somebody else's living room and find another piece. <laughs> okay, that's it. Use what you have. And I'm going to pick another card from this one because it feels right. The Angel of Prayer. Ask the universe and the angels to help uh, for help and guidance. Such a beautiful card. So it's important to connect and to ask for help and guidance as well. So um, creator, guardian angel, angels, teachers, divine loving lights and all those who come in love and light, please show me the way to be the most effective creator in the time that I have now. Help me to manage my time better. Help me to have a better, clearer perception of time and help me to do everything to realise that there is time for everything I need to do. Okay. So, what shift do we need to make in our energy field and what colours do we need to bring in? Emerald. Calm your mind, body and soul. And because this is green as well, I immediately got a hit of, you know, just this feeling in the heart of, I need to remind everyone to stay in their hearts this week. Stay in your heart because then you really embrace the timelessness. When you really settle into your heart, and just feel that comfort and that sense of peace, 
there's no need to panic, there's no need to go anywhere, be anything, do anything. Just move with awareness from the heart and you'll be fine. That's it for this week everyone, have a fantastic week and may all of your minutes be precious, whatever you spend them doing. Have a fantastic time um, using uh, everything that you've learnt, consolidating and moving ahead with awareness, peace and balance from the heart. And you could connect with Archangel Raphael as well, I'm hearing, and really ask to heal very deeply at the heart, to release regret, to release the sense of panic and to come into the calm. You might also want to go out into nature where you're surrounded with green. And if you'd like to book a uh, reading with me as well, you please just click on one of the links below the video and I will speak to you privately. Otherwise, I will speak to you again next week. Thank you very much for watching and um, yeah, have a good one. Bye.